missing me now and today from a nice warm flat instead of being out in the rain we are doing a haul from the local market <coughs> have to excuse me i'm still kind of ill but i went down to the local market with a face mask on social distancing and all the good stuff and i went to swatham saturday market um they do have a indoor market on a Friday, but they also on a Saturday have an indoor and an outdoor market. The outdoor market is usually all year round and the indoor market they have generally all year round. And then um, as you get more and more towards Christmas, they start having both on a Saturday and then the indoor market is just on a Friday. So I didn't go yesterday and I wait to go to the indoor market today because I knew it was there on a Saturday. So I've been down to the outdoor and indoor, and I've got a variety of stuff. Some of it is food, some of it is homeware. Yeah, I got some homeware this week. Um, I didn't go to any of the charity shops. It was so busy in town and social distancing, and I just didn't feel that I should be going indoors in like small spaces. We're still feeling just slightly under the weather. I was wearing a mask and everything and sanitizer, so no worries there. So. I'm going to show you the first item I got, and this is from the market. I support local markets 100%. And I got this. Ooh, look at that. This is a chocolate fudge cake off a market, 100% nut free, which we like. It looks like an Easter cake, and it's just got three little legs um, for decoration, but it's more about the cake. Now, this cake is a chocolate fudge cake, totally nut free, and it cost me £2.50. Not a bad price. Smells absolutely divine. So chocolatey and comes in its own little thing and it's all covered up. And it came from a local market store. I'm not sure of the name of the store. Quite a few of the home bake ones don't always have a name. <coughs> but if I can find out the name, I will write it down below. Then there was a new cake place that had come to the market, um, kind of, I suppose, less traditional um, cake store. And I picked up this, which is chocolate cake bread, as it's called. It's because it's in the shape of a slice of bread. It's called chocolate cake bread. And that was a pound. And I also got my son a home made sausage roll which was absolutely huge and that was a pound but he's already eaten it so i couldn't show you that and that was off a lovely little cake stall they did cupcakes they did homemade sausage rolls um they had a variety and of assortment kind of like what you get when you go to like an international food fair kind of stall then i went to my old favorite which is the food store which they do like market store food in like bags cheap crisps cheap Halloween sweets, cheap tubs for Christmas. And I picked up some bits. And we have two of the Osmo, Osmo? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, Osmo Hoppo, and these are a pound, and these are mini biscuits with chocolate cream filling. And they come in these little tubs, and I can open it up and show you, because these are obviously for me. And they look like this. They're little puffs, like this, and they have like a um, filling in the middle. And the two little tubs were um, really cheap, and to go with that, I got some traditional finger twixes and I got all three of these for a pound. How cool. These two were meant to be 50p each and the lady on the market said I could have three items for a pound today. So I picked up some of the twixes. So I got these two which would normally be 50 pence each and she said pick another item and we'll do, we'll do it three for a pound. So I picked some of these traditional Twixes, which I absolutely love the Twix. I haven't had the Twix in a while. And then off the same stall, I managed to get this. You're gonna, your eyes are going to pop out of this. This bag was a pound. These are 
Christmas kind of jelly lollies and they're a pound. Let me just show you. So they look like this. You've got a good old sound there and they're just jellies. But um, then you've got a snowman. Um, do we have another one? We have a penguin. I think that's it. Can you get just the three? What's the orange one? Oh, oh, we have a reindeer. Uh, I think there's just the four. Let me just check. Yeah, so you get an assortment of reindeers, penguins, snowmen, and Santa. And I've got four there. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four lollies, or twenty-four jelly lollies, and they were a quid for the whole bag. My eyes nearly popped out when I was like, because I saw the bag on the side, and I'm like. Are they a pound each um, per lolly, and they're they're just keeping it contaminated for like social distancing reasons, and they get you one out, and they're like, no, the, the whole bag is a pound for twenty four of these, and I was like, what? So I snapped this one up. There were a couple of bags, but this one caught my eye as it seemed to have a variety of like all four of them. 24 for a pound. I, I, the lady on that store must make a killing. Then, I bought these off her stall. Now, these are the little Kindo treasures, Kindo Freddo treasures. They have, um, chocolate buttons, I believe it's in one side, and toy in the other. Now, these in actual shops, when they first came out, were about 90p. They were really expensive. I got... I don't know if I got in here six instead of paying 90 pence each, which if I went to a news agent's or Tesco's, I'd pay. I got the whole six for a pound. Yeah, six for a pound. I don't know, they're meant to be like 90 pence, I believe, in like Tesco's and the news agents, and they wanted a pound for the whole bag. So I got two. They had one or two bags left. I could have bought the entire lot, to be fair, but I refrained. I thought, I'll let another kid have them. So I'm actually going to do an unbagging of these on my channel um, and then put it up near a Halloween. Um, so I'm going to open all 12 of these and we're going to make the little toys and see what we got. Because um, I've never really... I've opened, like, a couple of these, like, I don't know, maybe a year ago. But I thought these would be really cool to open and just show you, and then my son will just eat all the buttons. So. That was pretty cool. Her stall is absolutely amazing. I don't think it has a name, but the bargains they have on there, I will be going there every week up until Christmas, because I can guarantee you that I can fill my stockings for virtue pennies. Um, then I went to the indoor market, which is... One of the best bits because of the weather. <laughs> it is nice being outside, but sometimes you just want to be in the warm. And this lady was selling these McDonald's toys. And they were 50 pence each. And I picked this one up. And it's a little Womble. Um, and there was an entire collection you could get back in the day. I don't know how old these are. Not without trying to read um, the back of the label. But some McDonald's toys can be worth something. And me, I grew up with the Wombles. I absolutely loved them. And I thought, why not um, pick these up? These were 1999, So they're not very old. But um, I got this one. I don't know their names. It doesn't say. Then I got this one. With a little tartan outfit on. If anyone knows the names of each of the Wombles, I don't know whether they were the the actual Wombles from the film they were designed on. I'm guessing so. 
I was trying to look for Uncle Bulgaria, which was my favourite Womble, but I couldn't find him. But if you know the names of the Wombles, I might have to look them up and see if I can find them. I think some were made... I don't know if they are... All the ones on the back there are actual Wombles, but I'm going to have to look at it a bit. I think they were all the same year, 1990, 1999. So they're not old, old, but I love the Wombles. And she had tons of McDonald's toys in there. She had Mr. Men, um, kind of newer ones, but these Wombles. And then there's this guy with his little um fitness band on i want to say maybe i'm not sure but they were so cute and for what they were i paid 50 pence each and they're sealed the mcdonald's toys that are sealed which you don't get very much she had an entire thing of these um i took all the wombles i could find but i'm gonna go back there next week and check to see if i missed any um Obviously, I'm not going to get the whole collection from from her thing, but there's all the ones on the back. And I was looking um, for this one. I was looking for Uncle Bulgaria. Um, and I think there's a lady one. I don't know if they did. Yeah. The second. Yeah. So I got them. 50 pence each. Um, I'm going to look them up and see if they're worth anything, I guess. And then... The next one I went to was KJ Sizzling Sense. Now I followed her on Facebook before I went down there and they were amazing. Their customer service was so good. Um, he went through everything on the actual table. So I went there to buy um, some wax melts originally. Came out with something entirely different. That's how, This is how it goes. I bought some of their sizzling scent aromas so these aren't wax melts these are sizzling scents they're kind of the same but different so they're little kind of like kind of like bath salts kind of style and what you do is you put them in your wax melter in the top and you only put a little tiny handful in and you let them burn and they don't melt they just give off an aroma and then when your candle burns down you then throw them away it doesn't um, mark your wax melter and then you don't have to wash it out and the scents don't mix, which I thought was great. So they had all different ones you could get. Now this one was a lavender sleep easy and they were all set out into sections. So some were sweet, some were perfume, some were manly, some were for more winter. So I got this one which is at the sleep kind of anxiety, um, anxiousness, um, not being able to sleep. So I got some of this. So I thought I could burn this like before bed. Then I got Purple Rain, which was kind of from their floral section, although it could be from their kind of nature section. They've got like sea, the ocean, um, calming scents. I got this one in this gorgeous purple colour. The colours, I suppose, are irrelevant, but they are kind of cool. Then we got one from their sweet section, and this is the bubble gum. And I do intend to literally buy one off everything out of their entire collection. I want to tell you the price in a minute. You're going to absolutely die. Um, these are so good, and they're so much cheaper, cheaper than buying it from Sensei. Um, this is the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Aroma. And I love Victor and Rolf's fragrances. I can't afford the fragrances, but I can afford these that smell like it. Now, these were a pound each for the entire tub. One whole pound. Now, me, um, I would have probably have bought all of them. And then I had my favourite last and this is the um, black orchid Now this I'm gonna burn for Halloween it's got a kind of it's like got like a dark woody smell to it oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous I cannot wait to burn these and this is obviously in black 
but they were all different colors all different scents so they had everything from manly scents to perfumes to floral to nature to stuff to help you sleep and then they had the kind of fruity floral sweet smelling ones from like the candy store so plenty to choose from and at a pound each you couldn't beat it so then i bought what i wanted to go in there for was my new wax melter or my new aroma melter now this was meant to have been five pounds fifty but because i bought some of the scents um I bought five of them and this, and it cost me a tenner. So the warmer should have been five pounds fifty, but because I bought some of the wax melters, they gave me fifty p off, which isn't a lot. But they are a small home company, so this is what I bought. It cost me five pounds. Should have been five fifty. It came in two colours. It came in black and white, and this is adorable. So you put your little scents in there. Or you can put your wax melts in there entirely up to you. Um, these obviously don't melt, they just give off a fragrance. So you literally just tip them out of your melter and it won't um, mark them. You don't have to scratch to clean it. So it's apparently to save your burner. And then he's got his holes, so you'll get the fragrance, uh, the candle there, and then the fragrance comes out on top. And then in the back, you've got where your candle goes. He's not overly huge, but he does weigh a bit. Tiny little warmer, so much detail, and it was a fiver. Should have been 550, like I said. Um, gorgeous little thing. Okay, it's got little kind of things, and it's not like it's obviously not going to be as good a quality as Sensei, but these little warmers are so adorable, and for a fiver instead of 550. I was going to buy them at 550 but so they gave me this and this for a tenner obviously i got 50p off which isn't a lot but they don't have to give you anything off in fairness and then he said if i come back and i buy some more they'll do me another deal so i'm actually going to take my sister's um going to take my son's girlfriend there because she wants a belter for christmas and i want to buy a bigger one i'm hoping to get a bigger out like a massive one or something similar and then because I bought them the wax melter and the little things they also give you free free candles they give you the little tea lights for free to start you off because um it's like a little gift set for them so they give you the little candles for free they're just normal plain candles and you get them for free because I bought a melter so because I bought the out I got these for free and they gave me 50p off so absolute bargain that's KJ sizzling sense and they actually have a website as well I'm gonna link it down below and if you go on there their wax melters range from around £5.50 which is the cheapest and they go up I think their most expensive one is £30 but they are like the massive electrical light up ones so you can get little ones like mine for nearly around £5 or you can get the big ones with the glitter and all these all that jazz kind of ones um, but I will link their website down below it's KJ Sizzling Scents I will link it down below, go check them out, um, tell them a local girl from Swapham sent you. Um, I'm going to have a look on there myself because I want to buy some more for Christmas and I definitely want to get some more of their scents because they smell gorgeous. So that was everything I got from the market. So if you want to tune into my channel and see the um, little treasures being opened this will be in a video um coming up in the week towards halloween uh, and i'm going to make these and do them i'm going to do both bags possibly in one video or possibly in two I haven't decided yet and then i'll let you know once i find out how much my wobbles were which i paid 50p for so if you want to see more from me give me a big thumbs up halloween is on its way and so is christmas and i will go to the christmas market hopefully at the norfolk showground on the 5th of december i want to say i think there's a christmas market 
hopefully it's still going on. I don't know about social distancing and, and all that because that market is usually just warm. Um, but there's loads of tons of people there. But apparently it's still on. They're doing it because I've seen it advertised. So hopefully I'm going to go to the Christmas market in December and then I'm going to continue going to this market um, right up until it finishes. There's also a car boot tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going weather-wise. I'm not sure. But if you want to see more from me, big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.